It's been a while. Ay, ay, ay. What is it? Episode 10 now. No, not, not 10, 20. Hmm. Once again, people, tired. It's Saturday, it's 2.27, and I'm beat. I'm not beat from doing anything. It's mostly sitting down at flea markets, waiting for stuff to be sold. That's basically what it is, yes. Uh, it's just tiring down there. It just gets tiring. Always is. But I'm back. You're watching this. Simple as that. Why have I been gone for a while? Because this computer was down for a while. Uh, it had some bug in it. Got it cleaned by our internet provider. So I got all that done. Yay. Took three months for that. Three months. But of course you guys are here for the pickups, and as you've already seen in the title, Summary finds episode 20. Games, games. Mean the toys. Toys are getting are still hard for me to really find at Berlin. It's 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 difficult for me to find something that I want. I don't collect Marvel. I don't collect DC. Video game characters. Eh, no one needs a Bioshock figure. No one needs a Bioshock figure. I got a crap ton of games. I actually did get a new system and some toys, but I'm going to start off with uh, the small bits, the um, PlayStation 2 stuff. Let's see, where should I start? I'll start with these three, because I've had these now for a bit. And for those of you who are thinking, oh, you've been going for three months, what, you must have accumulated a crap ton of stuff. I have, but... Um, it's in boxes. Yeah, it's in boxes. Well, let's see. Uh, got this one for five. Was it five or was it three? It was three. It was three. Uh, Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. I was sh shocked to see what this was going for. Because most Spyro games are only like $10 at the most, and this goes around. 20 to 25 in, in that general area. Disc is in good shape with manuals in there. I have a pet peeve. I only buy games with manuals. If it has no manual, whatever, I will not buy it. Even if it's a rare title, I will not buy it. Um, this one was interesting. The seller priced out his games, but he didn't do internet prices. He apparently he didn't even go on the internet to find any of this stuff. Or, or at least price them out. Um, I had two games in my hand, and I saw Zelda titles for the GameCube on the side. And, you go, and I asked him, well, how much were those? He goes, well, those are 25 apiece. And I go, okay, so how much are the PlayStation 2 games? Different prices. I had Dragon Quest VIII and this game in my hand. He said 10 for Dragon Quest VIII, which is a little bit more than I would pay for that. But he said $4 for this one. I was not going to complain with that price because it's... Digimon World 4. Manual, disc in good shape. This is a hard game. I've played this and it is hard. In single player, it, it is hard. Because the weapons are crap. You, you level up slow as hell. you got to repeat the level over and over again. just doesn't even make any dents. It takes 7 hits at 7 to 8 damage to kill one enemy. It should not be that hard. And this one I kind of Amazoned it in. It must be my PlayStation 2. Uh, but this is like one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2. When I sold my PS2, this is one of the games that I sold along with it. And I'm happy to have it back. I didn't like to pay the Amazon price. But I was sick and tired of waiting at a flea market to try and find these guys. And it's Champions of Nora. This game is addicting. It is harder... Then, was it Dark Alliance, Boulder's Gate? This game I like a lot more. It's it's almost the same premises, except uh, with, I think with Boulder's Gate, it's an aerial view. And you, I didn't like that the warrior class, or the dwarf. Elf, 
had the archer. And dark creature was the mage, but nope. Dwarf sword or cross. Nope. 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 But that was thirty dollars on Amazon. Free shipping. Don't you know two weeks later I find them I find two copies of it at Berlin for five dollars a piece? You know, it's actually interesting because the copy that I got through Amazon was a slow loader. It did not load fast. I choose I picked out one of the games that I got from Berlin and it worked like it was a lot faster than that, than the one I got. So I basically just swapped out the discs. So I have a working better copy. Champions are off. But these I got for a dollar a piece at my local flea market, Quaker City. Berlin's in New Jersey. Quaker City's in Philadelphia. But for a dollar a piece, they're, they're filler titles for me. Well, at least three out of this five are. Uh, let's see. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Mortal Kombat Deception. Uh, Way of the Samurai. Interesting. And the two games that I was shocked because I looked through all the, a lot of those games. There was uh, Mario Party 6 in the box. And I opened it up and the disc was gone. So I was shocked that at least these two didn't have their discs taken. But in a way, I'm happy that they didn't because I got uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 2. I have Tenkaichi 1. I don't have 3. So I gotta work on that. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum, which I actually like this game. Hard game, but it's fun. It's fun. And I can actually watch Let's Plays to help me uh, get through the game further, because I think I always got stuck on somebody. But, eh. uh, the same weekend, I got those dollar games. I also found uh, Zelda, what is this, uh, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Five bucks, I was worth paying that. Uh... Some of you may have remembered that I had a Dreamcast lot and whatnot uh, before on this channel for Flea Market Finds. I found another one at Quaker City. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, the Dreamcast that I had on here uh, on Flea Market Finds did not work. It didn't work. I paid 17 for it and like 17 games, and I think I finally made my money back off the games that I sold. I think I did. Yeah, I should have. If not, I'm at least short five bucks from getting my money back on that purchase. Uh, I was astounded to see that, uh, pardon the noise, but I got my other cables from the old system in here. It was a, here upside down, sports edition Dreamcast with the box. It worked. Had cables, two controllers, two VMUs. And a stack of games that were in this. It was in here. All the games were in here because I asked him how much the Dreamcast was. And he goes, I got a bunch of games for it. And I was like, well, where do you, where you got the games? And they were in the box. So. And yes, I do have the games that came with this. I had it in, had them before. so. But that was good and whatnot. But time for the games. And start with the... Weirder one, the don't mind these prices, these are my prices because I'm either keeping some or selling some to get some money back out of them. Uh, let's see, web browser 2.0 was in there. Yeah, let's browse the internet. Just going copy of Atari Anniversary. Let's see, uh, Cigarelli uh, Championships. F355 Challenge. It's another racing game. Apparently, racing games are fun. Uh, MTV Sports Skateboarding. Uh, 18-wheeler American Trucker, Pro Trucker. Uh, Hydro Thunder was in there. That was in there. House of the Dead 2 was in there. Sounded like this one. Uh, let's see. Speed Devils. Uh, South Park's Love Shack. Your Chef's Love Shack, yeah. Uh, Crazy Taxi was in there. Another copy. Don't understand why 
that ends in work. And the rest are different. Uh, Jet Moto Grind was in there. Uh, not in there. And but the four games that I thought actually no, that wasn't in there. There are at least three games that I thought were fantastic. Uh, for me to grab it was uh, Mortal Kombat Gold, uh, Fur Fighters, go over here, camera's a lot better over on that side, and Sonic Adventures. We've got all those games, as well as the system in the box. No styrofoam, no paperwork or anything like that, but with two controllers. I got a light gun with it too, might be for one of these, I'm not sure. And the two VMUs, that was thirty dollars. I was happy to pay that. I was happy to finally get a working Dreamcast uh, to add to the collection of systems I got. Is that everything from the games? I think that's everything from the games. But today, on Saturday, I was able to at least find two toys. Two toys that I didn't have in my collection. One's more banged up than the other. You're wrong. But I got. The Samurizer Black Box. I've been looking for this. It does. I'm not sure if it had a belt clip or not. I would imagine it did. But it came with the disc, which I'm pretty sure I already have. I don't have normal discs that would be in here. So that was two dollars. I I got both the swords that will attach to it, so I, I don't really care. But for three dollars, this guy's in rough shape. And I mean rough. I mean, it, it looks like this guy was ridden pretty hard. His horns, as you can already possibly tell, have bite marks on it. But I needed something to fill in that Lost Galaxy shelf. Because I have, like, got three things for Lost Galaxy. I got this, um, the Rhino, and I got the Shark. But for $3, I got the Toro Zord. It's an okay shape, but I mean, the horns really disappointed me. Uh, he did not have the Magnum Defender in him, and did not have the swords. But I wanted this guy because the last time I saw this guy, uh, some guy wanted $30 for him, and he gave me the, the douchebag excuse. They're going for 50 on eBay! It's not eBay, and I've seen... The Sentai version of this, and it actually has metal chains on it at conventions for 40 Oh, yeah, this guy is... He... I really need to work on this guy. This guy needs some lubricant in his knees or something. Something in his arm. It's something for the shelf, you know? You only have two things of Lost Galaxy. On your shelf, you need at least more. And after this, I need the Stratos, and I need to finish my Lost Galaxy Megazord. I need the white arm with the fist, and I should be almost done, because then I need the horns and the sword. But that's it for episode 20 of Flea Market Finds. Hopefully, I will have a better day um, finding stuff. I will say, I did good selling stuff, but in terms of finding stuff, and, oh well, tune in next time. That's all I can tell you. See ya.